humans have long been drawn to the sea. The ocean is a magnet for those wishing to explore the most incredible realm on planet Earth, rich with beauty, wonder and adventure. Humans love to be in, on or just inside of the sea. But the human-ocean relationship is bittersweet. For centuries, the oceans have been used as a dump for human debris. Since the 1960s, post-consumer plastic products have become the most common and persistent pollutants in the world's oceans. Plastics are lightweight, durable and cost-effective. Plastics can be fabricated into almost anything. Lamentably, these same properties pose a serious hazard to ecosystems. It has been said that plastics, like diamonds, are forever. Plastics are scientifically proven to absorb pollutants like DDT and PCBs up to one million times the concentration in surrounding waters, creating toxic synthetic drifters. As it breaks down, plastic trash can be confused for food by sea creatures due to its size, shape and colour. Since plastic chips on Hawaiian shorelines are mostly blue, black and clear chips, researchers believe that much of the red and yellow particles have been eaten by fish, birds and turtles, thus contaminating the ocean's food chain. Consuming toxic plastic is believed to create endocrine disruption that impacts gender, whereby males become more feminine and cannot produce sperm, and females lose the ability to produce eggs. Plastic floating at or near the surface is part of a drifting surface ecosystem called a windrow. Here you can make out concentrations of zooplankton, drifting jellies and tinafores mixing with marine debris and plastic chips. You can see herring schools feeding and observe how the drifting debris zones attract all manner of foragers. Over the eons of millennia, foraging sea creatures have been using these windrows for nutrition, but now these debris zones contain toxic accumulations of plastic Due to the long life of polymers in the marine environment, it is vital that humans address the litter problem locally, nationally and internationally. It's a truly disgusting plastic cesspool uh, that uh, has to be uh, burned into the consciousness of humanity that the ocean is now a plastic wasteland.